Hi guys. Um, what we're going to do is tie a really sort of fairly basic, simple uh, chartreuse and black uh, temple dog type fly. Uh, there's not going to be jungle cock or anything in this. I said it's just uh, it's kind of sort of like an entry level temple dog. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm taking a length of chartreuse tube and this is probably 30mm long and if you look close you'll see that I've cut it off here at uh, say a 45 degree angle or so. So what I'm going to do is take my inner, frame the end of it and blow that out and then that will create a little like mushroom flange. Make sure that's cooled down because if you try and put it through this one's hot it'll just deform. So then I'll pass that through from the blunt end of my tube. I get up to that end. I'll sort of pull it through. So you can now see the flange is in there to just left eight or ten mil at the back here. And then I cut off, leaving the seam, 8 to 10 mil sticking out the front. So this is a future fly tube needle, but use whatever you have. Now, the idea with this cut here is that it allows you to taper down without a step, uh, because the step is quite difficult to deal with when you're tying hackles and wings on at the front. So I'm taking back here to the little flange part and I'm actually going to make use of the flange in that I'm going to tie my uh, butt tag, whatever you want to call it, on here in front of it and this will stop it from peeling back. So we'll have a, a silver oval. And I'm going to put on three or four turns of that. Tie it in a couple of turns forward, then pull it back under itself and tie it back because this will also be our rib. Tail, I'm going to use this sort of like lime green chartreuse uh, fluorofiber type stuff. I'm going to tie that in pointing forwards and fold it back on itself and tie right back up to that butt. And then this here, I'm going to go from underneath it and I'm going to taper cut back. And that'll give me a bit of shape to my tail. So, rear section, simple, braid. This is a holographic silver. Tie back to the butt. And then wrap this forward to yourself. Third of the way, half the way. And turn it off. So now I have a black and uh, green synthetic dubbing. Put that on. up here until we start to hit our taper and then rib the body with our silver rib tie it in and fold it back for security so in a lot of temple dogs and that you'll see uh, hackles down the body I said this is a simple fly we're tying here so we're not bothering with that so, the stage I'm going to use a little bit of uh, chartreuse arctic runner as the underwing, which you can use polar bear, you can use uh, fox, whatever it is you want to use. I'm going to trim off the end there. 
and then I'll take my varnish, put a blob of varnish in that, and then tie that in along my tapered section. So that's quite stiff and straight. I'm going to use a little bit of support for the upper wing. I'm going to add in a little bit of flash. So this is a chartreuse mirage. Two strands of that. Again, tie it across, point forwards, fold it back on itself. A couple of taps to secure it. And trim all off at around about the length of the underwing or maybe even slightly longer. Main wing, a little bit of black fox. Picking a bit that has a little bit of taper to it here. And I'm just going to pull out the shortest bits of the underfur. I'll set my wing up and measure it for length. I want it to go a bit further than my tail. Then I'll transfer hands, trim that off, and we'll do the same trick as we did with the uh, with the underwing, is to put a little bit of varnish into the tip of it there, and then tie that down in on the top, and tie it back until it's secured. So, that's the wing made. I said, if we were tying a more complex temple dog, you know, we'd start adding different layers and more uh, flashes and peacock hair, etc. You could also put jungle cock in if you want, but as I said, we're keeping this fairly simple. So now what we're going to do is we'll take a black soft tackle. on doubling. You can look those up if you want. Tie that in by its tip, fold it back, tie across it, and then we're going to wind this hackle on. And we want it to end up just right at the tip of our green tapered tube. So I suppose the last couple of wraps are probably on the liner. Trim that. And finish it off. So you can choose how you want to finish the fly yourself. I'm going to put on a uh, silver cone onto this. So, what I'll do is to put a bit of varnish or super glue or whatever you want at the front there and then. Slide that cone tight in, trim off leaving what, a mil and a half, two mil, and then flame the liner down. And that is our fly finished. I said hopefully that'll help some people get into tying tubes and temple dogs so that they don't all have to be very elaborate and you don't have to use fancy materials but uh, a simple chartreuse and black uh, temple dog and as per usual 
like what you see, tell your friends, use the like and subscribe button, it'll help me out. Uh, and until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.